I was given a tour of a hospital in Mbujimai, Congo, and we visited the entire facility and the doctor met with almost all of the patients. It was a very difficult, heart-wrenching tour for me. Everybody we passed asked me for food or money, and I could only take their photographs. I think what most have inspired me was humanity, real humanity. When you capture uh, image, uh, you freeze the stories of the people you are photographing and uh, you deal directly with the concerns of that people. I saw thousands of people in need of medical services without the voice to be able to ask for it or a healthcare system that could respond adequately. And I view that as my role as a photographer to be able to be that voice so that they can send their message beyond their local communities. I try to be a link between the community where I live in Westchester, New York, with communities in the developing world that I have the good fortune of, of visiting in a very intimate way. When I walked into a room in a hospital, in a neonatal ward in, in Rwanda, in a very rural hospital and saw a baby in an incubator and the baby looked safe and healthy in that incubator. It was very uplifting and I wanted to take photos of that so that I could share with whoever was going to see it when I came back and I thought that said so much about what's possible. Through photography people, poverty and sickness become real and a lot more than just facts and figures. I'm very grateful to have gone on assignment for MSH and I'm looking forward to continuing to help shape how we view global health.